Welcome back, Truth Seeker. A couple days ago was May 17th, 2022, and it's that one day a month that has that special numerology that's usually very fateful for people in the world of entertainment. And if you're new here, there's something called gematria, comes from ancient practices, the practices of coding numbers into words. It's part of Kabbalah. There's a song out there called Gematria, The Killing Name by the band Slipknot. There's another song out there called Murder by Numbers by The Police from the album Synchronicity, where killing's as simple as A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. But every single month, there's one date in the month that will have numerology of kill in multiple ciphers. And if you're new here, Gematria is elementary. It's A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4, E is 5, F is 6, just turning the letters to numbers. And that's the secret of why you had to learn the alphabetic order when you were a child. Because if you really think about it, why should you have to know what order the letters go in? You know, they taught you half the lesson, but they didn't teach you the other half that the whole language is based on a numerical code, just like Hebrew and ancient Greek. But the most simple cipher is the alphabetic order. If you run the alphabetic order in reverse is the next cipher, and then taking those two orders and applying numerology. So there's four base ciphers, and the word kill happens to have gematria 44, 17, 64, 28. And there's one day each month that'll have at least three of these four values. This is the one day for the year that has all four values in the date, and that's because it was the 17th of the month. And date numerology, there's multiple paths for date numerology. But again, there's only one date where the numerologies will add up this way. So the abbreviated date numerology, 5 plus 17 plus 22 for May 17th, 22. 5 plus 17 plus 22 is 44. If you take the full date, 5 plus 17 plus 20 plus 22, it's 64. And then if you do what's known as the life lesson number path, you do 5 plus 17 and then the year digit by digit, 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2. You get 44, 64, 28, plus again, it's the 17th of the month. Kill equals 44 with the alphabetic order, 64 with the reverse alphabetic order, 17 with the alphabetic order in rules numerology, 28 with the reverse alphabetic order in rules numerology. And if you don't understand what numerology is, it's real simple. K is the 11th letter of the alphabet. I is the 9th. L is the 12th. L is the 12th. So if you add 11 plus 9 plus 12 plus 12, you get 44. Now, to get the value to be 17, instead of K being worth 11, you take the numerology of 11. K is the 11th letter, but the numerology of 11 is 1 plus 1 is 2, so K becomes 2. I, the 9th letter, is still 9. L, the 12th letter, the numerology of 12 is 1 plus 2 is 3. So instead, you get 2 plus 9 plus 3 plus 3, which is 17. And then again, the 64 and 28 is just running the alphabetic order in reverse, doing the same thing. What we see again and again when these celebrities die on this date is their name either connects or what they're known for connects. And notice, Marnie Schollenberg of the soap opera As the World Turns, which they emphasize, that show has gematria of 64. That's the show that she's mostly known for. I didn't even look at One Life to Live. Here, we can take a peek to see if that also fits in real quick in real time. One Life to... Whoops, let's spell it right. One Life to Live. Uh, th there is something about that. If you're new here, there's another very familiar pattern. The blood sacrifice number 67. If you write out blood sacrifice, it's 67. If you write out human sacrifice, it's 67. The word satanic's also 67. That's another very familiar pattern in suspicious deaths. But anyhow, as the world turns, the show that she's better known for, it has the 64 in it to go with the date. The kill date. And notice they say she's dead from cancer. Again, I've been explaining this pattern every single month without fail since Dick Gregory died. The day Dick Gregory died, he died on the kill date. Comedian equals 44 and 64. A lot of comedians over the years have died on the kill date. Um, God, who was the comedian that died right next to Meatloaf earlier this year? Hmm. What's his name? Louis Armstrong? That's not. I can't think of his name right now, but you know, he, he was a recent example. But anyhow, every month we're talking about the same thing, the same patterns, and again and again when these people die, what they're known for connects to the word kill. And these are the people that are dying prematurely so often. You know, Dick Gregory was an older man, but so often it's younger people, like this actress, Marnie Schollenberg, who was only 37, who's supposedly dead from cancer. And notice cancer is 44 like kill. 
And it's also 37 like her age of death. And in the most simple cipher, cancer, chemo, and kill are all 44. Fateful number. And then adding insult to injury, they said she died from stage 4 metastatic breast cancer. And notice she died four days before her birthday. She would have turned 38. In case you're new here. In case you're new here. Sorry for all the people who've been here and seen this lesson a gazillion times. The film Murder by Numbers, notice how they changed the E to the 3 and the B to the 8. She died at age 37, which means she died in her 38th year of life, four days before her 38th birthday, which would have began her 39th year of life. Again, for people who don't get that, your first year of life is when you, you're born, so the day you're born, up until you turn one, that's your first year of life. When you turn one, you begin your second year of life. But anyway, they called the 3-8 right in the poster. They also have the orange 7 and orange 9 surrounding the words, as we'll get to, murder equals 38, 83, 79. But murder, 3883. Buffalo, they said the, the shooter cased the store on March 8th. Tops equals 38. The song Murder by Numbers came out in 83. It stars Sandra Bullock, 83. If you use this knowledge in the actual film, you'll see where the murder happens. Has gematria of murder in three out of the four base ciphers. Um, that, again, that film also came out 38 weeks in a day after Sandra Bullock's birthday while she was in her 38th year of life. And again, Killing, Death, R.I.P., Gematria, English, Kabbalah, they're all 38. The song Gematria, The Killing Name. So uh, again, these familiar groups of numbers just show up again and again around suspicious deaths. And notice one of the deaths on the kill date was a 38-year-old boxer who dropped dead while boxing. He dropped dead in the ring during a match at age 38, and they said it was a heart attack. Uh, but I mean, come on, a, a boxer, an athlete— some of the hardest training athletes, he's just going to drop dead from a heart attack. And my guess is something was put in probably his fluids that he was drinking before the fight. But, um, yeah, when when the early part of the day on May 17th, I just checked to see what was suspicious. And I'm, a lot of these deaths are honestly suspicious. And eight, it, it, It's amazing how often on the kill date an 83-year-old football player dies. Football equals 83 like murder. No one's going to question the death of an 83-year-old. You can see Antonio Oviedo was the 83-year-old football player who died this month on the kill date. But again, just pay attention. Month after month, you'll see the same types of things. But the two deaths that really stood out early in the day when I first checked on this was Sharon Matthew, an actress and model, supposedly committed suicide at 27, which means she died in her 28th year of life. And like we just talked about, kill does have the gematria of 28, dead on the 28 date numerology. And again, the other young person who was dead that day was a boxer. And notice the model died in Kochi, which equals 28. And, and look at what the story said. They, they were a transgender actor. People will say, well, they were transgender. They have a high suicide rate. Again, when I see these young deaths on the kill date, I'm thinking, mm, I highly, I'm highly suspicious of this supposed cause of death. Trans actor Sharon Matthew dies by suicide in Kochi, fifth such case in city in a year. I mean, that's... You know, interesting headline. And again, Kochi, 28 like kill. You know, the two young people dead on the kill date early in the day, a boxer and someone from Kochi. And um, again, you just pay attention month after month. Of course, people die every day in the world. But month after month, these young people that are dead, they got the numbers in their name and what they're known for in the headline that just sync up with the word kill perfectly every single month and so often it's right around those suspicious ages we know the 27 club right that's because ritual equals 27 one of them's dead at 27 the other's dead at 38 which really deserves its own club and uh in the gematria community we, we know about how deadly 38 is but yeah and, and realize they didn't release the news of this woman's death until two days after and this has become more of a trend in, in recent time too saving saving the news of the death We've even seen some of these people who died on the kill date. They've released the death like three weeks after they actually died, and I'm pretty sure that's because of the impact we're having because more people are starting to recognize, oh, wow, that song, Gematria, the killing name's no joke. Oh, wow, the police murder by numbers. That song seems, you know, beyond just a song, and, and it is. Stuff's going on. And, and, it, and understand, people get killed besides uh, – there are ritual sacrifices that happen outside of the kill date, but the kill date pattern is just so consistent every month – you can absolutely count on it, unfortunately. And it's going to be that way as long as the Jesuits control the world. 
And um, again, it's not an accident that Murder by Numbers, the film, came out on Ignatius Loyola Day, the founder of the Jesuits. But and and there are other six societies besides the Jesuits, but the, the Jesuits are the most evil thing going on this earth. So anyhow, we'll leave it there. I got to hit the road. I got a three-hour drive to the airport, and we're hopping on the plane for Buffalo. Again, I got a long layover in Denver. I will do some serious investigating at the Denver airport because I haven't been there ever. So it's going to be my first trip to the Denver airport. I didn't plan for the eight-hour layover, but I guess it's meant to be. It gives me a lot of time to make sure I go through the whole building and turn over every stone I can. So see if we can pick up on any additional information that people haven't already caught documenting what's weird about that airport and then uh, we'll be in buffalo again saturday and sunday at the tops where the shooting was last weekend to educate the community to show support to try and create the mass awakening that needs to happen in humanity and um, again if you've missed the work we've done on the buffalo shooting definitely check that out there's a number of videos up we had a really great episode on it tfr last night listen as much as you can and um, at least take in the first 30 minutes to an hour. It's, it's over a three-hour broadcast, but if you just get the first 30 minutes to an hour, you'll get a lot. And um, yeah, and again, thank you to everyone who uh, chipped in with the donation. Um, you guys have definitely lightened the load for the expense of the trip. I really appreciate it. I rise about to sign off. I, I see we have a $2 super chat. I appreciate that $2. That pays for uh, a chunk of a gallon of gas. And again, it all adds up. So um and I found out I have another expense. If you guys saw how I showed that the, um, the the guy who was harassing me in Oklahoma City put, you know, he found me in person and then he found my hotel at the car and put the envelope under there. I noticed, I just washed the car for the first time the other day and I noticed he keyed the hood all over the place, up and down. So it can probably be buffed out, but it's like, you got to be kidding me, man. Not only was the guy harassing, he also keyed the car. But, uh, hey, what's up, Cade? Um, Cade with the donation. Shout out to Cade. Cade came and pounded payment with us in Louisiana. And, um, yeah. So Cade's awesome. Thank you, Cade. I appreciate it, man. All right. We'll leave it there. You guys got to hit the road and I, I might do a live stream on the road. If I think about something to talk about, uh, fake Mike real news had a great interview last night about the belt and road initiative with the YouTuber Titus Frost. And, um, you know, really interesting discussion. And, and by the way, if I, I, it's been a while since I talked about Belt and Road. I probably haven't talked about it since 2018, honestly. But Belt and Road does equal 201. If you guys don't know about the Belt and Road Initiative, um, it's, you know, how they're building new supply chain lines to uh, strengthen the economies in Asia and Europe and, and Northern Africa. And um, it, it's all part of the the new world order plan to make the world less reliant on America, which many people will say, well, that's deserved because those Americans, you know, they don't care about all the evil that's been done in their country's name. So it's about high time. They, you know, they feel some consequences, but understand you guys before even the belt and road initiative, you had NAFTA NAFTA happened at the same time. Agenda 21 was agreed to and NAFTA moved pretty much all the manufacturing out of the U S to China and other countries. So they, they've been slowly dismantling the U.S., you know, and that was right around the same time, you know, the, the first Bush was in office talking about all this new world order, really putting new world order on the map, um, a, a phrase that became on the map in a big way in the early 90s. And um, but, yeah, I mean, the, the U.S. is being dismantled. It's pretty you guys, we don't have a domestic nation. I mean, it's the new world order and, and people are slowly waking up to that. But yeah, they do have plans to to make Americans suffer, and I'm sure the New World Order cabal kind of looks like, at it as a, a justified thing because they know that the people here they don't really care much about anything besides themselves. They've, ra I mean, they've helped cultivate a society of uh, greedy, selfish people who don't really care about anyone else, and so they probably say, yeah, it's okay if we make them suffer. They're not very good people anyway. Of course, that's our fault, but you know, we're even more evil than they are. So. Anyway, just just realize, Belt and Road Initiative is just part of the ongoing Jesuit script that's encoded with 201 all the way. Just like if you go back to uh, Agenda 21, signed off in 92 on the day, leaving 201 days left in the year. So, um, Sarah Sutherland, again, uh, amazing you are, Sarah. I really appreciate it. 
I will be careful and I will travel safe. And thank you also to Mr. Hernandez. Appreciate the donations. Um, so, yeah, I will be on the road. I'll think about live streaming. P part of the way, I don't have very good reception, so it wouldn't be the best for live streaming. But um, if I think about anything important to say, I'll do a live stream on the road. Um, if not, you'll probably hear from me next in Denver during the eight-hour layover. It's funny. I went from like, oh, my God, how did I do that? To, oh, maybe it's a good thing that that happened. So, anyhow. And then I'll see you soon in Buffalo. And, again, good news. Because <laughs> I should have figured this out before I went to Oklahoma City. But if they do take down our live streams in Buffalo, StreamYard automatically backs up if you live stream through that. So um, I will get them re-uploaded. And you know what else? I got to reach out to the man who flew out to Oklahoma City. He should be getting close to finishing the film. We have a man work working on the film from Oklahoma City, Craig. Craig, I'm still waiting for the bill. Craig's going to send me a bill when he's done with the work. He didn't want to do it for money, but I said, Craig, send me a bill, man. Send me a bill, Craig. But, um, you know, Craig's in New York. I'm going to see if it's actually possible for him to get out to Buffalo. I should have thought of that sooner. So if you're out there, Craig, and you can't, it's, it's no thing. I know you're going to be there on 9-11. That'll be the bigger one, but... Yeah, right. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. I am, I'm definitely giving you that money back when I get into town. Yeah, right. The Matrix is coming to pick me up at the airport and he just donated $50. What's wrong with this man? Come on. Oh, I, I appreciate it, though, man. I mean, that's, that's, uh, you know, that's just over the top right there. The, the gentleman who's going to be chauffeuring me around is also donating for gas money. Okay. <laughs> You're going to let me fill up the gas tank at least a few times. We're going to be on the road. But, um... And thank you, Gianna. You guys are getting too generous here. So, um, I, Again, thank you to everyone who has donated. You guys have lightened the load in a big way. And uh, still going to be frugal and make the money go as far as possible because everything saved can be used towards the next trip, and there's going to be more trips. You know, I got to keep getting sweet lady flowers and stuff, man, because I got to get down to Silicon Valley, and then we got to be back in New York for 9-11. So, I mean, there, there's places to be and things to do. But, uh, again, uh, the, the money that comes into yours truly, again, it goes to the cause. I appreciate everyone who donates, and um, I'll see you soon. Till next time, True Seeker.